Hey people, Indrid here, 3v3 Garvis Ice Gate Blue Team. Doomfrog, who's not moving, is a brother captain, a durable hero, walking through objects cannot be suppressed with powerful offense and support fighting in melee. Are you gonna get moving, my friend? Pop, we are, there he goes. Not using we are the hammer though. Alongside Red Crown as a plague champion starts off with a damage of a time bolt gun, can get melee weapons, some strong utility and support, can also repair. And rounding off the blue team, Schmooze Operator with a Commando Knob. Infiltrating hero that shoots you, stabs you and blows you up. Orky style begins with a twin link shooter. Red team, Alex X Legio Legio as a tech marine starts off with a bolt gun. Can support with structures and repair, looks like the Dark Angels DLC. Indeed it is, alongside Shoris as a Lord General fighting in ranged combat. Begins with a retinue of Stormtroopers, really strong defense and support. Can also add to the retinue. And rounding off the teams is Heliot with a Inquisitor. Offensive hero with powerful control abilities begins in melee but can get specialized ranged weapons. On that east side against the Brother Captain, it's turned red. This western kind of resource lane here with the commando versus tech marine. Tech marine already off the field so there's no way these guys are going to hold double shooters. Yep, yeah, can focus down the scouts. Commando is tying up those tactical marines. He's going to headbutt them soon. There we go. Shotguns come in but they did drop a model. Sluggers were capping stuff but they're moving in. If they can get their burners up they can pressure the power quite a lot here. Only a node is in through the middle. Some Nurgle worship. CSM getting that hell three gen. The plague champion trying to tie up the guardsman, it looks like. So they can't fire those less guns. Doesn't really do much damage in melee by default, the plague champion. Very low melee DPS. I believe the tech marine. The commando and the tech marine, I think, have the same range DPS out the gate. 35 DPS. But their firing patterns are different. I think the commando does more damage per burst, but they burst less often with this twin link shooter. 35 DPS. I believe the plague champion is a rat. It's like 18.6 DPS, but of course does have the damage of a time effect, which is kind of difficult to quantify because it might not hit the same model and that kind of thing, and it stacks up. I believe, at least it used to be. It used to be 1.6 damage per second for 5 seconds on hit. And of course that can stack up. So I'm not sure what the DPS math works out as if they were, for instance, shooting at a single entity and then they all hit kind of thing. More heretics up for Red Crown. Grenade launchers on both. Sentinel took heavy damage from Shoris but has survived. More scouts up for Alex on the east side. We have a strike squad. With the Tomes of Titan. Might see a banishment here. Although there it is. Inquisitor maybe goes in to tie them up. Nope. Bunch of las guns is enough to make them back off there. Interceptors on the way for Doomfrog. Oh no, Commando's fallen over. That's right, we saw we saw him get shot down. Tech Marine helping to repair the Sentinel. For comparison, I believe the mech boy is like 24 DPS range. Not sure how the Lord General compares with their retinue and I don't know the numbers on the warp spider X up. 2 to 1 cap early on for the red team. Paddington Devils hit the field for Shoris. 2v1 against Red Crown here but they have Aspiring Champion CSM. Not Aspiring Champion, Eternal War CSM in some decent-ish cover and now some Orc support coming in. Grenades can really pack a punch early on if you can hit the same target with two squads especially. Yeah, they'd mess up those marines quite badly. Sluggers trying to get in with their burners up. Gives them some more hit points and also a couple of power weapons, not to mention some porky burners. That's some good disruption from the catechons. Knocked back like three or four squads there, I think. Stomp helps to finish off the sluggers. A little bit sloppy there from Schmooze. Were busy moving their shooters around I guess. Pain Boy on the field now has no sluggers to support. I wonder if they will get more if they just go straight into Stormtroopers. Stormtroopers. Storm Boys. Getting me names mixed up today. Fake Champion gets the revive which gets them level 2. And there's a stun bomb on those Devastators there. Can they push onto the power again? 
They wiped the catacombs. That's pretty good. I think most players would trade sluggers with catacombs in tier 1. Without the knob leader in there and stuff. Yeah, they pushed them off again. They could, they could go VP or power raiding here. On the east side, Doomfrog, the most dangerous and heinous of all frogs, has pushed through the east side. Interceptors, you know, like basically nothing Hellion can do to the Interceptors. Maybe stomp them, I guess, and get the Holy Brazier for some melee, but they don't have it. Instead, they've got a heavy weapon squad. Easily countered by the Interceptors, but it might force them to jump the heavy weapon squad. You can have a Sentinel waiting for the stomp. I don't know if that's still good enough to deal with them. You get stomped, they get back up again and start smacking you. I don't know if they have the DPS, the bursty DPS to kind of threaten them once they get stomped over. Big Champion gets another revive and is into level 3. Pain Boy hanging around, Sub Commander for Orcs, has a damage over time melee attack. I guess it's some kind of orky poison or venom or something. And also heal over time his orky friends like that by giving them Git Source. Which I assume they drink, they swig it very quickly start getting that walkie healing. Got some noble worship here for 3.5 health regen. Red team really need to break out. A map looking very blue. Schmooze operator did indeed replace the sluggers. Here they are. Getting their burners up. Tier 2 for Hellion. Tier 2 for Doomfrog. Spotters on the field for Shoris and look at Alex. Double scouts with devastators and an assault squad. Very heavy tier 1. It's typically not a bad idea, but in a 3v3, you can get leapfrogged. And then if you don't have the support, get messed up quite a, lot, quite a lot on your lane. Down goes the Sentinel there. I guess the CSM finisher? I didn't catch that. Tier 2 for Red Crown. We'll see if Alex regrets the super heavy Tier 1 here. Red Crown with a quick blood pressure maybe or a quick death dread from Schmooze although Schmooze has not started their tier 2 yet there we go and Alex won't be too far behind that on the east side this is the southeast power of the blue team getting decapped now by a sentinel sentinels can decapture points but they can't capture them a mechanic that is not used anywhere else in the game there we go there's the decap and a gen goes down to lasgun fire now they're backing off, they don't want to overextend here, lose their position, and then just get pushed on their own power again. Inquisitor is idle though, they should not be idle right now. Alex is getting some more tactical marines in tier 1. What is going on over there, bud? Once all of the infantry, despite being a tech marine, shooter boys with their knob leader and big shooters, gonna get jumped, are they? Apparently not. Salt Squad saving their jump. Tearing through the shooter boys, just got suppressed and now stun bombed. Maybe it hit one of them. It's gonna mess up their coherency. Don't know why those guys are still chasing those shooters. There we go. Switch targets on the power. Not the best power bashing force ever, though. But they can start tickling things with those pop guns. I am fine, says Doom Frog. Red Crown came over to support and power bash. Might lose their own VP through the mid, thanks to Shoris and the Lord General. Helion goes tier 2. Is tier 2, rather. Had some Ogrins on the way. Cancels them for a Chimera. Interceptors have their Justicar. Got a power weapon, I believe. Gets in there. And Guardsmen can't really do anything about this. A drop bundle so fast. Aspiring champion in for the Chaos Space Marines. Gives them that awesome slaughter. And here is a Primaris Psyker going for the Codices of Wrath, which gives them Ethereal Wave. 273 to 446. Plasma's in for the Guardsmen. Just over 8 DPS per Plasma Gun. They get three of them, so it's quite a lot of Plasma DPS. And they've got all the Laz Guns, of course, doing their thing. That was a energy burst. 
I assume on the Psyker to mess up their energy. So we're now fleeing. Maybe they'll go into Oberyn's Shuris for the Telekinetic Dome and to help counter the Interceptors and stuff. It's a nasty basic attack for the Primaris Psyker. That psychic shot that kind of bounces around a bit. Here's the Chimera for Helion. Support the vehicle for guard. Can reinforce off it and jump inside and shoot the guns out. Have a grand old time in there. Seems a bit cramped though, eh? Commander Nob flees. The double tactical marines here for Alex. They've only just gone tier two. Oh, looks like Schmooze lost their sluggers again. And I missed it. Can we see their bodies? Are they around here? I don't see them around here. I see a bunch of shooter boys. Not sure where they lost them. Devastator's just holding this west side. Map looking very red now. The entirety of the mid and the west side are red. Any war gear for the Inquisitor? Yes, they have excruciators. Double plague marines coming in all of a sudden for Red Crown. I'm trying to go after that Chimera. Which backs off. By the captain with the psychic lash. I think they used it on the Inquisitor there. Interceptors teleporting in, a bunch of disruption. There was an ethereal wave. Did not seem to affect the interceptors. I guess they get a few seconds of knockback immunity after they teleport. Not sure if it still did damage to them or if it dismissed them completely. Interceptors have side cannons queued up for tier three already. 30 power, it's not cheap, but having a teleporting anti-vehicle squad's pretty damn good. There's a psychic lash again. But the captain maybe gets nope, does not get away. There's some Nurgle worship, and Red Crown gets another revive here. They're level five. No war gear. But they could transition into Plague Fist and stuff to hold down the contested VP later on. Good pushback though, eh, for the blue team. Triple Plague Marines for Red Crown. Chimera is fully repaired. There's a Grenade Barrage. Decent hit there. And another revive for Red Crown. Level 6. Where the Captain's level 2. Runs away. Plague Champion may also want to run away. Must be so tempting to get the Light Grenades there. But Icon of Nurgle do some good work for you too. Lord General has Melter Guns. They have broken out. Getting their natural VP back. Looks like this was decapped as well by something. Maybe the Commando. Salt Squad in amongst the back lines. Weird Boy gets a shot, got some friendly fire on the Pain Boy who heals himself and runs. Now has the stronger Git Source with more Git in it. And there's the third, I think, Slugger Squad. Burners and Knob Leader. Slaughter popped on the CSM there. There are the other Plague Marines though. They're at base, idle. Is that quad Plague Marines? Because there's one here. Hey, look at that, there were three at base. There's that Ethereal Wave. And there's a Noxious Cloud global ability of the Plague Champion. Very, very nasty. You can control that cloud and do damage to anything it touches that's enemy. Really messed up those guys. Good push by Blue Team. Kind of invited the red team onto them and countered on the midway point. Chimera is still in play though. And he did grab the east side, the red team. Inquisitor runs. Nope. was in retreat. I thought she was in retreat there for a second. Interceptors getting in there, they've got their Psycheners and now they get assailed. Oh, she's still firing her plasma pistol, look. Just doesn't hold it up. 150 to 408. Don't think I ever noticed that before. Here comes the Chimera for some support. Inquisitor's getting kind of messed up though, eh? Really messed up. Has to run. Strike squad throw out the banishment and then back off. Ogryn's on the field now for Helion. Heavy melee squad with super heavy infantry armor so they can walk through regular piercing damage quite well from las guns and such and bolt guns. But 
some stern guard veterans here for Alex. And is it quad? I only see three plague marines here. I think. Yeah, I only see three. So maybe I was wrong, or maybe there's another one somewhere else. Tier threes for Red Crown and Schmooze. All of the red team stuck in tier two right now. I'm not sure what's going on on the west side. We'll check that in a moment. And they get Red Crown out here. Some very tough plague marines say no. CSM getting focused down though, and they had to retreat. Cypher's very low, also has to retreat. I think they're gonna wipe the, uh, yep, they wipe the spotters. Here comes some Ogrins though from Helion. And their mere presence has scared off a bunch of stuff. On the west side, Schmooze operators push through. And they're on the power with sluggers that have burners and a knob squad is on the way. There's the tier 3 for Shoris. Through the mid very quickly with the Lord General. Grabbing the VP. His um, Stormtrooper buddies, Derek and Nigel, get their own melter guns, which is nice for those fellas. Oh, hey, Paladins on the field, called in by Doomfrog. These guys are unique to the Brother Captain. Very powerful units, tons of hit points. Heavy melee de nemesis demon hammers. And they have the Holy Grounds. Did they get Holy Grounds? Oh, they have an incinerator. That's cool. I'm not sure if they got the Holy Grounds yet. Inquisitor runs away. I believe that effect there is the Psychic Lash. But there's Doom Clover. Just a giant pile of hit points bullying things the whole game, basically. Occasionally Psychic Lashing it. Looks like Helion is going to be the last player to go to Tier 3 there. If they indeed go. They are floating. I guess they're worrying about these fights at the moment. Pushed all the way back into base. Uh oh. Sprite Squad, are you going to make it fellas? Nope. Plasma guns get it done. Those guys have their Commissar leaders now too. Taking up 12 models per squad, reinforcing three at a time. And those Paladins, like half hit points with all this plasma around, and with a sail around, is quite risky. I wonder if they'll get crossbow bolt pistol as well. Have another way to lock down those Paladins. West side. Nob Squad getting marked, targeted, trying to finish off the Devastators. They have their Nob Leader and Mina and Greener and their Hammers. You Jammers, sorry. Get it right. Commando, gonna die maybe again? I think they've made it. I think they made it out. Level 4, no war gear on that guy. Tech Marine is bludgeoned to death. 66 to 367. Big VP lead for the red team. And they lock down this east side for all a minute or so and get this game done. There's a lot of stuff here to get through first. There's the holy grounds from the paladins. Slowing down enemies and speeding up allies. It's pretty freaking cool. Is that a rocket run? It is a rocket run. Leaf from Shoris, looking at the red. Pretty good hits. Hellion did indeed get their tier 3 in. Those guys need some power though to get some cool mechanized Imperial Guard stuff going. The Paladins did drop a model there. And here's the push. There's a bunch of plasma going on. The Melter of the Lord General is really good against the Paladins as well. Going after that primary Psyker. There's an Ethereal Wave. You could do it that close range, eh? That's pretty damn useful when you're getting melee. Ogryn is tearing through some Inquisitorial Stormtroopers and the Paladins are incredibly low. Have they used a sail already? Where is the Inquisitor even? Oh, they are back here. We have a Teleporter Relay Beacon from the Chimera. Something use. I think it's called the mobile base upgrade. I don't get to see it very often. Yeah, paladins are getting chased down. 
Ogrins are deceptively quick when they get going. When they get that melee charge, especially. Paladin's wiped. We have a Land Raider Crusader from Doomfrog. Couldn't quite get there in time. They could have jumped inside of it if it did. And I think it was worth extending to get those guys down. So you can reinforce off this beacon, unlike the Tech Marines beacon, which you basically never see these days. It does not grant any health regen. 62 to 312. Heavy turret dropped in by Shoris, the Lord General. Back towards the mid. Weird Boy's still around. I wonder if... Yep, Pain Boy's got the surgery stuff. I wonder if they've done it to the Nobsquad already. Probably have. Yeah, that looks like the plus one speed is in. 62 to 300 on the VPs. Nobsquad are going for what? Big champions down over there, by the way. They've gone for the Chimera. It's now trying to de-set up, as it were. Rocks thrown into the back lines. Didn't do a huge amount, but it forced some retreats. The Chimera. I was going to say it might make it, but then the Commando showed up with a rocket launcher and said no. You're not making it. Some good plasma from the Tactical Marines. 30 DPS just on that single plasma gun. It's pretty scary. And the Stern Guard using their trap and bolts as well against the Nob Squad. Nob Squad are heavy infantry. Uh oh. Vanguard veterans might wipe. I think that guy's far enough away. They are far enough away. Sometimes with knockbacks and stuff, you just get knocked far enough away to avoid death on those retreats. 62, 278. Blue team looking pretty good, actually. They do have a lot of VPs to make up, but I think they can do this. That was a sail on those interceptors there. But they're getting their power bashed and their wreck point decapped. Maybe they should have sent something for this. There's the commando. Our commando might go and sneak over to it. Kasrakin on the way for Helion. Shoris looks like they're saving up for a vehicle. I mean, there's triple plague rings. Oh, it is quad. It is four plague rings, though. So do they even want a vehicle? Van Redder, Crusader. You can reinforce off that guy get health and energy regen but he can't retreat back to it like the redeemer pretty good rocket run so all those guys are off the field now all of the plague marines ogrins crack the brother captain down commando's being sneaky not sure what they're looking for with their oh they just want to kaboom things with the mega boom kit means that they don't get knocked away but they do die afterwards apparently 62 to 232 Are they going to lose the east side now, the blue team? I think they have the capping power to, to, to kind of tough this out. Crusader is suppressing stuff though with those hurricane bolters. And they do have decent repair support. These stormtroopers and the heretics can repair. Yet again, suppress and now they're backing off. They are retreating off. Kasakin sprinting around like crackheads with plasma guns in play. They get two of them. Wow, almost 20 DPS per. That's painful. Not sure what these Vanguard veterans are up to. That's a knob squad there. Why are you going that way? Okay, they back off. I don't know what that was about. Trying, you got to try and stabilize and wait for stuff. I guess they, they can't see. They didn't know what was there. But they'll be slightly more careful, I think. They're probably desperate just to get the cap in and keep it. Meanwhile, through the mid. Had a go at getting to the natural VP of the blue team. Couldn't quite make it happen. Weird boy threw the zap in there and stuff. And here's the march of the plague marines again. I see three of them. Don't know where the other one is. They're at base. But the captain pays for their own revival there. Nob Squad infiltrated Nob Squad with Hide the Boys chasing down Lehman Rust, but they had marked target on them from the Tech Marine Signal Armor. 
I only got a plasma gun too. That's huge DPS against that knob squad. And now some Bulgrins for Helion. They get power mauls and a slab shield now. And they can use use your shield to suppress nearby enemies such as the knob squad. Might force them to use their frenzy early. To break the suppression. Flash gets on the field for Schmooze Operator. Grey Knight Dreadnought on the way. Doomfrog also has Terminators in. Red team quite rightly perhaps just going through the mid here. And the Plague Champions got Plague Fist, Armor of Pestilence, and they did go for Light Grenades in the end. Are we going to see a throw? There's a foot of Gork from the Weird Boy. They crack on those Guardsmen. Mark Target. Oh, and Heretics. Okay. Here's the support. Recognizing the threat through the mid. I think they're going to get a Lehman Rust down. Lake Marines just need to get a couple more shots. There it goes. Lena Russ is down. And an orbital goes in from Alex. A few decent hits. But this last beam's going to do nothing. They got knocked out of it. 62 to 126. They're still on 62 VPs, the blue team. Red, red team have had an uphill struggle for about six or seven minutes now, it feels like. One to one cap at the moment. A nuke dropped on the Eastern VP by Red Crown. Stops the cap that was going on, I guess. Interceptors need to be careful. Trying to trade with a bunch of plasma guns. Grey Knight Terminators getting in there. They have their own Psy Cannon wrist mounted. Pretty damn handy. A little passive short range teleport as well is quite handy. Those halberds do splash damage. Not quite as scary as lightning claws with their splash damage, but still pretty damn good against infantry. Going to get through the mid again with some Kassigan. Kassigan do have fast capping, so it makes sense. And they are decent solo units as well because they have grenades. The sluggers in on a bunch of marines here. Maybe they're waiting for and they should have no fear to pop. Just a venerable from Alex. Nope, it's some um, Deathwing Terminators. Instantly get warp vomited. And here comes the play champion, so fist them. Oh, why would you do that? I guess I just wanted to stun them again. But that's given those Terminators a huge amount of range and damage resistance by using Pestilence Strike there. Got some Mark of Zinch Chaos Space Marines. Inferno Bolts, bad news for those Terminators. He did get Cyclone Missile Launcher. Maybe with an eye towards that Land Raider. That's on the east side. 62 to 107. Blue team staunchly holding on to the east side. Dob Squad looking for a flank. With Hide the Boys on. And they just demolished that heavy weapon squad. Or did they? Yeah, they did. It took a while to finish it off for some reason. Bulgrins can't hold against Terminators and a Knob Squad for sure. Maybe one of them they could hold off for a bit. Shoris with a Bane Blade on the way. 62-88. Should have got... Well, they probably want to go after the Land Raider. But maybe the Stormlord would have been better with all this infantry around. Something just got deleted there. Another heavy weapon squad, I think. And now they're going for the Natural, are they? Bunch of Plasma over here. With Stern Guard as well. Where are the Loyalist Terminators? Oh, they're over here. They got a decap, I guess. But it helped to get the decap. It was a Lord, the General, that did it. Turret put down by Alex. I mean, quite easy to get around, but right here, right now, I guess it did some work. Bane Blade is going to hit the field. What are these fellas up to, though? Grey Knight Dreadnought got the Plasma Cannon. Marks all the way up the field. There is the Bane Blade. They did not decap. They did not decap. Terminators getting Inferno bolted here. Knob Squad turn on them as well with full momentum from their hammers. Tear apart the turret. 
terminators did able to were able to teleport away. Take champion level ten. I wonder how much of that XP was revives. Meanwhile, all the Bruins looking for a fight and they found it. Couldn't deal with it. Got suppressed by that land raider. Maybe they should have waited a little bit. Bane blade awkwardly going upstairs, maybe. Gets a hit from a plasma cannon. 62 to 65. Blue team have the VP lead now. Well, now they do. More stormtroopers on the way for Shoris. And land raider Phobos for Red Crown. Go up to the midway point with the Bane Blade. So many plague marines, though. And a big flank coming from the mid stairs. So we're checking Malcolm. There's Malcolm here, though. Doing all right. Just asking to get flanked. But what else can they do? They need to push somewhere. to 35 a valiant effort from the red team not sure if they can get on any of these vps though the monster cannon coming in it's a good hit and a creeping garage i think yep lots of repairs for the bane blade lots of things being gibbed Bulgrin's going after the land raider now i think but look at the damage to the bane blade Job squad tearing it up and those plague marines of course 62 to 16 oh, look at that red team with a single cap now somehow they got the decap here and they decap the east side too commando says no some flash kits there as well i think they've just delayed the defeat but um they kept on swinging the phobos did make it out just got their natural back. There's the one to one 47 16. Commandos capping the east side again. Terminators being chased by Terminators and the knob squad. Oh, they had a teleport. So they survive, I think. Yeah, they survived. What level did you get to, Mr. Tech Marine? Level 5 Tech Marine. Looks like there it is. GG. Blue team held on. Red team just couldn't recover fast enough. And it can be tricky for the guard to recover. Because your only option is like big vehicles. And uh, they were very prepared for that. It's kind of like Tyranids when they recover with Carnifexes. You can shut that down if you get a bunch of anti-vehicle out before it. Doomed Frog, the brother captain, was level 6. Level 10, Plague Champion. Super effective at Plague Championing. Commando Nob was level 6. Lots of sneaky shenanigans, level 5 tech marine, level 5 law, the general down at the end, which means no Derek and no Nigel. And the Inquisitor, level 7, did have the crossbow bolt pistol and had a servo skull. There you have it guys, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.